Hi dear friends, welcome to another video on social science research methodologies. In this demo, I will explain to you the difference between correlation and causation. To start, uh, remember that correlation does not imply causation. Causation is when a variable causes a change in another variable. Or a causation relationship is when there is cause and effect relationship involved in uh, two or more variables. Uh, while correlationship is not really causation, correlationship is only an association between variables. In other words, the variables uh, co-vary. They, uh, they, 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 their, their variance is associated. They, they vary together, regardless of the direction. For instance, in causation, let's say in an experiment design, uh, a medication causes. Uh, someone to react a certain way or someone's body to s react a certain way that could be a causal relationship right but a correlationship uh, there's no experiment introduced to a subject uh, you are actually looking at association or a covariance of two variables or more than or or two or more variables uh you know considering uh the fact that you know there may be other hidden variables that are that is causing both of those variables to 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 uh, develop this covariance. For example, the relationship between, let's say, uh, uh, the consumption of ice cream and people uh, 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 riding bikes out in the park. While uh, increase in consumption of ice cream does not cause uh, the increase in in, uh, in biking out in the park, but they may be, they're correlated. So they're correlated positively that increase in this, in the consumption of ice cream is correlated with increase in, in being out in the park and riding your bike. But uh, this, this association, this correlationship may be, uh, may be caused or may be defined by a different variable that you know we call it co-finding variable which explained uh, in on the other slides uh, which in this case could be the weather now the, the, the weather uh, being warmer causes people uh, or affects people to go out and you know uh, consume ice cream in the meantime do a lot of outdoor activities so let's just uh, disregard all these uh, book definitions but just to know that correlationship is simply association and causation is a cause of change or cause and effect relationship and correlation does not imply causation and to understand this uh, uh, these two concepts better let's look at the scenario here uh, that I develop uh, let's hypothesize that the as the video game sales increase the winter clothes sales also increase in other words as people start to play more video games they also start to um, buy more winter clothes does that mean that the increase in the, in the video game sales causes increase in the winter clothes sale now uh, not really because uh, playing video games does not cause you to go and uh, buy more winter clothes or the other way around buying uh, winter clothes does not cause you to play more video games or spend more time playing video games so one does not cause the other in this case but they may be correlated so and, and in statistics we call this a spurious relationship or a relationship that's caused by a, a third variable a, a, a different phenomenon or a third phenomenon that's not in the picture so in other words a third variable is affecting both of these variables and in this case that third variable could be the weather so as the weather becomes uh, let's say cold and people do not want to leave their houses they uh, they, they they begin to play more video games and and do stuff around the house uh, and in the meantime, they also uh, buy more winter clothes because it's winter. So the winter factor or the cold climate factor causes or affects both of these variables and, and, and produces a correlationship between these, both of these variables. And that third variable is called a confounding variable. And confounding variable is pretty much uh, the variable that's, you know, uh, you know, is behind this association that we are seeing, 
and so um, confounding variable affects variables to make them seem causally uh, uh, related, just like we saw in the case of uh, the scenario between the uh, 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 spending time playing uh, between the increase in the in the uh, an increase in video games sales and increase in the winter clothes sales. They they may look causally related when you look at them, but then. When you do the, when you perform analysis and you account for confounding variables here, then you see that uh, then you can then you can uh, ex then explore and draw a conclusion that these two are associated based on the confounding variable of weather, and multivariate analysis account for the effects of such hidden uh, variables as you start to. Uh, uh, do advanced data analysis, especially um, using statistical models, uh, especially in multivariate analysis, you would see that um, if that you will, um, when you are performing, uh, when you're performing these analysis, you will always account for you know extra facts of you know hidden variables because one or two variables are not the uh, explanatory, uh, could not be the, the, the sole and final explanation of a response variable. Therefore, as a uh, statistician, it's very important to always consider these uh, confounding variables or hidden variables that uh, have uh, that that have substantial effect on your responses and on your uh, and on your associations. And then, if you fail to account for the confounding variables, then you're more likely to have an analysis that's either biased or is, is, uh, errors that, and, and will not be accepted as valid. And therefore, it's important for you to make sure that when you're doing your, I mean, you're producing your research design, you're also taking into consideration the, the type of the type of analysis, or the, the model that you will be using to perform to to draw your conclusion. And in, in doing so, you need to be able to determine and distinguish between uh, if in between uh, between uh, the fact that you will be doing a correlation research or you'll be doing a causal research. And if you'll, you will be doing a causal research, then you're more likely to, uh, you know, be involved in introducing experiments to look at the the causal effects of something. And when you're and you're performing a correlation research, then you're more likely to be looking at, you know, different variables and see and measure uh, the the effect of or the association of each of those variables, and also look at, you know, the the association causations of confounding variables. That are uh, producing those results in your in your in your uh, cons uh, in your variables under consideration. And lastly, as a reminder, uh, please uh, watch my videos on uh, different uh, uh, typology of variables, wherein I have explained uh, variables and their application in statistic analysis in further details. Thank you so much.